I've come to Dewsbury to watch a football match. Vickers versus Imams. Christians v Muslims. And nobody really cares who wins this religious struggle, but there is a serious side to it. People here live in a divided community. This area, Savile Town, has been criticised for being almost exclusively British Muslim. And it also... The town's claim to fame used to be that it was the birthplace of Betty Boothroyd. Now it wants to lose its reputation as a hotbed of extremism. And this is one way to show it. Before kickoff, just time for a quick knockabout with Bethany, who's 16, and 20-year-old Shaq. They've got like racism and stuff because um, like people say horrible stuff. So there is genuine segregation, you think? People don't mix as much as they should? Some people don't like the friends playing with certain friends and it's, it's just not fair. Why have there been these really high profile examples of extremism just in these streets around here? It's quite a bit of a segregation between the different communities, between Asians, Muslims, whites, different races, different religions. You say, you know, a football day, it's great fun, but does it really make a difference, do you think? Yeah, I think it does. And what this brings together is just a real sense of community and just show everyone that it's not what it is. OK, time for some integration in action. It is head. The government already announced plans to encourage integration and tackle extremism. But football? Is this any more than just a gimmick for the cameras? The imam striker is Zahid Valimullah, a teacher at the local madrasa. How is it that in the past extremism has a foothold here that you have Britain's youngest suicide bomber, you have Britain's youngest convicted terrorist, you have a leader of the 7-7 bombings, all from just a few streets around here? These have been baffling to us. These have been uh, making a lot more people on a wider scale feel, how is it happening? We, as Muslims, are still looking for answers as well. So do you think today actually makes progress? I mean, Absolutely. I, I, it's just football, isn't it? But it, can, it, can it go further? I'm sure it can. I'm sure it can. I think we can see uh, a lot more people talking with one another, uh, and that makes a huge difference. On the vicar's side, the Bishop of Wakefield. Tony Robinson. It's segregation of problem, the fact that this community is almost entirely British Muslim. We can't tell people where to live, can we? We don't tell you and I, we're not, you and I are not told where we can live. But I think uh, the extremism is happening in uh, dark places, uh, particularly on the internet, uh, by people who are unhappy and inquisitive. It's obvious that it's going to take a lot more than a day of football, fun though it is, to solve these serious issues. But I guess everyone has to start somewhere. 